stage two. The recruits are learning how to survive and operate behind enemy lines. The first lesson of the day is self-defense. At first, you should train yourself to do this. With this part. One, two. Hand this is Krav Maga, first developed for Mossad, the Israeli intelligence agency. It's one of the most effective self-defense disciplines in the world, and it's being taught by world master Philippe Kadouche. Just this, it is not enough. You have to do this to move the head. Philippe teaches these same skills to intelligence agencies around the globe. Today, he's teaching our recruits to defend themselves against extreme violence, whether their attacker is armed or unarmed. Krav Maga is based on principles like physics, mathematics, biomechanics. One. Much more scientific One. approach. So they have to use coordination. That means make a defense and attack simultaneously. He is threatening me with a gun. Then I make one, two, and then disarm. <laughs> and now you see the position of mine is this. I am meaning now there is one, two. And if he moves, this is not the bullet. First, this is the barrel inside. And then it will be the bullet. If I go like that, uh, okay. I'll tell you now, now step forward and punch. Yeah. I've got the gun, haven't I? Okay. And I come back like that. Taking it. It takes a bit of practice, to be honest with you. Yeah. I think most people are kind of in a situation where you're being attacked. The initial thing is to run away, but you can actually do a lot of damage even in just two, two actions before you actually leave. So it's, it's pretty good. It's very different than I've ever done anyway. Very, very different. Point of going at me. Having learned how to take possession of a gun from an attacker with split-second precision, they now have to deal with knives. This object has three parts. With this part, it is clear, I can do this. With that part, I can do that. And with this part, I can do this. Now, you know what the most dangerous? It's the last one. He's in Albert. I feel safe already. I, feel, I'm, I'm, I know now that I could legitimately defend myself if I had to which is very comforting. Don't have to rely on your blinks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> to deal with knives and guns, they've been taught that the natural response is not always the most effective. This is also true when reacting to a stranglehold. You can't find any space for your fingers between his fingers and my neck. So this is impossible, but here there is a space. Use it. Go! The last 10 hours have taught the recruits how to react without hesitation and respond with the appropriate attack. 45-year-old Steve Hart is a black belt martial arts instructor, but this is unlike anything he's ever done before. Basic, knock the crap out of the person before they hit you. You know, which I think always helps, doesn't it? Everybody's walking away from it thinking, ooh, and this is their one, one day's worth of, of work, you know? But the fact that I can definitely take a gun that's pointed at my chest is uh, it's pretty cool. Can I do it? One, two, three. The first secret agents to have self-defense incorporated into their training were the men and women of the Special Operations Executive, World War II's legendary SOE. Theirs was a totally new approach to spying, and they effectively wrote the rule book on how modern agents are trained. The classical way of spying, as it were, would not have worked because it was too gentlemanly. There was nothing gentlemanly about SOE. It was a kill or be killed. 